more WWE 2K24 gameplay has came out today. And when I tell you it is generational, I mean it is generational. Now, today's video, we're going to be deep diving into every little detail that you may have missed if you watch all the other content creators' videos. And speaking of the other content creators, make sure you go ahead and look at the description down below and click on all those links because these are the links to the content creators that have provided this gameplay footage. So big shout out to them. But with all that out the way, let's go ahead and dive right into today's video. So as you guys can see on the screen right here, blood can now be seen on the floor when bleeding. Now, this is a great detail that they decided to add back into the game because I remember the last time we had this detail in the game was all the way back in WWE 2K14, which was a long time ago. Plus, this detail bring a lot of more realism into the game and also make the matches feel more hardcore. Now, we also got a new mini game that was just announced today, which is the Trading Blows mini game. And as you guys can see in this clip right here, it is basically you and your opponent trading blows with one another and you will have to time it just like how it is in the pan system mini game. So you will have to make sure it get all the way on the green in order to get the upper hand on your opponent. Now, if you and your opponent are lasting for a long time with trading blows, you will go into like an animation where you both will just be hitting one another back and forth, just like how Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn do in real life. Now, another feature that was announced today is that you can now use the highlight menu during matches in WWE 2K24 to capture content. So what this means is that you can basically get a lot of different angles in the matches. And if you are a content creator, you can go ahead and capture that into your game. You can save, you can upload it to YouTube, all of that sorts of stuff. And you can just have fun with that feature. Also, another feature that was announced today in WWE 2K24 is that you can control different camera angles during the match in WWE 2K24 with this menu. So what this means is that you can change the camera angle during the match while it is going on live. So as you guys can see right here on the left-hand side of the screen, it says you can toggle info, high SW, broadcast, which means you can get the broadcast camera. You get the free camera as well, camera shortcuts, switch to target, highlight reel, and you can also hide it if you don't want to see it. So I think this is a great feature that they decided to add into WWE 2K24 because if you want to sit back and grab some snack and watch the AIs go at it at a different camera angle at that, you can do it right here with this feature. Now, my favorite feature that they decided to add back into the game is that you can now free roam on the announce table. So you don't have to just go over there and press a prompt that pop up and just put your opponent on the announce table. And you'll get stuck into an animation where you have to break your opponent on the announce table through the animation. But you can now just get up there, walk around. You and your opponent just walk around on top of the announce table, jump off of it, and all of that sort of stuff. And I believe the last time we had the free roaming on the announce table feature was back in WWE 2K14. Now, another feature that is making its return back into the WWE 2K games is that the face paint will fade away during matches. And what I mean by that is if a superstar you select has face paint and they are fighting in a long, cruel match, they will lose their face paint throughout the match. So the face paint will basically fade away. And the last time we seen that feature was back in WWE 2K19, I believe. Now, as you guys can see on the screen right here, we did get to see some footage of the weapons being thrown. And when I tell you this looks fantastic, this looks fantastic. Now, if you think this is going to be annoying, especially online where your opponent will just keep throwing weapons at you, well, no, 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 no. Because as you guys can see in this clip right here, you can actually reverse it in the air. So if somebody throw a chair at you, you can grab it, throw it back at them, but they can also reverse it as well and throw it right back at you. So basically you two will just be throwing a chair at one another until somebody not hit the reverse button on time. Now that is not all because we also did get to look at how backstage work as well. So as you guys can see in this clip right here, you can fight backstage. The backstage basically looks the same, but you can also throw your opponent through the glass. You can also get on the elevator as you guys can see right here. It'll shoot you right up to the next floor and you can brawl out right there. Now this doesn't only work in the one-on-one -on -one matches. You can also get on the elevator in a fatal four-way backstage match as well. We also got to look at another referee model in the game as well, which as you guys can see on the screen right here is Charles Robinson. We also did get a look at the announced team as well. Now, I did hear that this isn't the final bill that they are playing, but I do believe that we will be seeing Byron Saxon on commentary again in WWE 2K24. Now, I do hope we get Samantha Irving in WWE 2K24 because we haven't had a new announcer in a long time and she is killing it in the WWE right now. We also got to look at some of the fans' t-shirts in the audience based off the gameplay. And as you guys can see right here, this does look like Bray Wyatt, the Fiend t-shirt in the audience. I also seen Bray Wyatt original logo on one of the fans' t-shirts in the audience as well. So we potentially could be seeing the Fiend Bray Wyatt model in the game this year, as well as Bray Wyatt model that we had last year in WWE 2K23. And last but not least, before we head out of here, we also got a first look at how the main menu will look. So as you guys can see right here, we got the newly My Faction logo. And for the play now, we have Real Ripley on it. And for a universe, we have Oscar on it. And for the showcase, we have the WrestleMania 30 logo on it, which is kind of interesting as well. 
because we do know in their main event, it was a triple threat match between Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton, and Batista. And for the My Rise, we have the Unleash and the Undisputed logo. And for my GM, we have Tyler Breeze. Now that is all for today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below. Are you excited for WWE 2K24? And are you entered in the giveaway as well? That's me, boy, Blix Action. Keep you guys posted on a lot of WWE 2K24 news, rumors, content, as well as updates. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel as well because you will be entered into the giveaway for WWE 2K24. I'm signing off, y'all. Peace.